We've got an indices question here, um, and uh, we're given g as prime factors, and we're given h as prime factors. We're asked to, mul asked to multiply them. So, how many twos all together? We've got three in g. We've got two in. Uh, sorry, we've got one in h. So it's two to the four for the first bit. How many threes? Well, we've got two in total. There we go. And seven to the two, seven to the three, seven to the five. There you go. Simple as you like. Now then, for part B, we've got to divide. So I'm actually going to write, is it G over H? Yes, so two to the power three times three times um, seven to the power two over, uh, what is it, two times three times seven to the three. There we go. Now then. 2 divided, two to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 1, as it essentially, gives me 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2. 3 uh, divided by 3 is 1. So there we go, which is in theory 3 to the power 0. And 7, uh, um, we've got 2 minus 3, 7 to the power minus 1. There you go, 2, 0, minus 1. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't really know how else I can um, put that. But there you go. Now, part C, we're multiplying out thirds. So I always do this using a table. Okay, we've got 7 minus 2 root 5, and we've got 7 plus 2 root 5. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that this is kind of a bit like a difference of two squares, but 7 times 7, 49, minus 14 root 5, plus 14 root 5, Okay, and then we've got minus, so it's 4 times 5, 20. All right, um, and then these two bits here, that bit and that bit cancel out, and I'm just left with 49 minus 20, 49 minus 20, which equals 29, which is what we're after. Excellent. Okay, final bit of this question. Uh, we've got this here now. Um, I'm going to use green for this. Now, first of all, it would be worth you, because we've got to give it in as a power of 3 here, 9 is 3 squared. So I'm going to rewrite the whole thing with 9 as 3 squared. So we've got this here. So 3 squared to the power 4. Okay. Now then, I'm going to simplify one bit at a time, so I'm not going to touch the root just yet. So it's got 3 to the power, um, where are we? 3 to the power 8. Okay, so 4 times 2. All right, simple indices laws here. Now, a root is a fractional, so I'm going to have to go down here. Okay, and I'm going to get 1 over... 3 to the power 8 over 3. So root uh, the cube root is a third as a power. And then because it's a denominator, my final answer is going to be minus 8 over 3. All right, so it's using everything you know. Okay, and actually all oh, crumbs. No, I made a little bit of a mistake here. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry, do apologise. Need to read the question carefully. All right, minus 8 over 3, because it's a denominator. And then it says, find the exact value of n, so n equals minus 8 over 3. So it's using all your, all your laws of indices, but just do them a stage at a time. Okay, don't try and rush the whole thing and do it all in one sort of giant, giant sort of load of workings, where you'll more than likely get confused.